Uh, my name is Nicholas Paul, and I work for the Rustic Band of Micmacs as the tram coordinator. So you, your songs for powwows, you have like grand entry songs, which are songs that are sung for the people coming in. Uh, you also have certain songs for the different dance categories. Uh, you'll have uh, straight songs for every dance category, but like men's traditional will have sneak ups or uh, sneak ups or duck and dives they're called. But and duck and dive also goes into men's fancy as well. Uh, some of the songs intermingle between the, the dance categories. In like grass dance, you, you have a grass dance song that's specifically for that that dance style. Uh, crow hop. Almost every dance style can do it, except for women's jingle. And women's jingle has their own special set of songs. Women's fancy, men's fancy, men's grass, women and men's traditional. They all have their own separate songs, but some songs can intermingle in between them categories. And then you have uh, like flag songs, which are pretty much the powwow equivalent of national anthem. You have a song for the veterans. You have different honor songs to honor different ceremonies, stuff like that. Um, you'll have uh, children's songs to sing. You have closing songs at the end of the powwow. And then even ceremonial-wise, there's certain songs that you sing, in, like there's sweat lodge songs and there's um, sacred fire songs. And then traditionally you have like green corn dance song, uh, the Duttuas, which is a women's song, which means translates to like the pine needle dance. And you know, then you got like two steps where boys will and girls can come out and dance together and everything like hold hands. And it's pretty much uh, the powwow version of a, a school dance. <laughs> so, um, and then you have uh, your different dances for the little kids, like they get candy dance where the kids dance and they get candy at the end of it and stuff like that. The duck dance, uh, alligator dance, you know, social songs too. The alligator dance is pretty much just a chant that was learned elsewhere, but then became part of it. Cause a long time ago, whenever people would travel, they would stop in at other tribes and they essentially had a gathering. So they would share songs, they would share food, they would share games and stories and stuff like that. So the alligator dance is one of them shared songs that came from, I'm guessing, Florida area and found its way up here and was shared with the Passamaquoddy and, you know, the Wabanaki people up here and now has become a social dance for all the tribes. Oh, everybody loves the Micmac Honor song around here. Uh, or the AIM song, the American Indian Movement song. Uh, a lot of people love that. Uh, but with, like, the... Micmac Honor Song, List the Gush, every year when they, before COVID, when they get done their powwow, all the drums that are there, and sometimes there's like five to ten drums, would line up beside each other, and each drum would be able to start a verse of the Micmac Honor Song. So you got anywhere from eight to ten people on a drum, and you got anywhere from five to ten drums, so you got anywhere from 40 to 100 people drumming, all at the same time, all singing the same song, all at the top of their lungs. There's actually a video on YouTube if you look up uh, List of Kush Power Drum, you'll see, you'll see all the drums lined up and singing them song, singing the honor song. And then too, you, you got drum groups that'll, if they're, oh, I can't remember this song, and then they go to the, you know, old school traditional songs, because they can remember them, and everybody knows them, so then you get everybody coming over to help them as well. There, with, with our drum group and songs with language, we have some that are Micmac, we have some that are Passamaquoddy, we have some that are Maliseet. We do have some songs that are English. Uh, the English songs are pretty much what we call 49s or hand drum songs or two-step songs, you know. It's usually, you know, uh, singing about their, their woman or something like that, or there's a song out there called Facebook Drama where the guy talks about he can't deal with his woman no more because she's always on Facebook talking to somebody else or something like that. There's another one that, out there that says I can't be your husband and I just found out I'm your cousin. So 
You know, there 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 is word songs, and and they're always kind of they're pretty much for like the 49s because they're kind of funny and everybody can understand them. Uh, and the word songs that we sing are Micmac, Pasquati, Malice. So the honor song, what it means to me and you know everybody around is you know it's it, it's a song that was given to the people by the spirits it was given to uh, George Paul while he was fasting and on a on a on a vision quest and he was given that song by by the ancestors and the spirits he made that song and it's a song for the people it's singing about the people gathering and coming together and everything like that and you know, I've always loved that song. Everybody loves that song. To honor that song or any other honor songs that there is, I, it would be best to stand, remove your hat, because like I said, that's like a, a, a national anthem for, for tribes, you know. Uh, the Mi'kmaq honor song has been translated into English, it's been translated into uh, Malice, Wallistic League, and uh, you know, a lot of people are translating it into their, because it's such a powerful song and, and what it sings about and what it means. So it, it is a very, very powerful song. I love it, I've always loved singing it, and I love singing it in any, any language. Yes, there are some songs you do not record, like the honor song, or if there's a, a ceremony going on, you don't record the song for that. Uh, sometimes during a powwow, if somebody has a, a eagle feather that falls, there's a ceremony and a song for that, which cannot be recorded. And the only reason for the not recording is the ceremony in itself has a spirit, has a soul, and a lot of the, um, the old timers and traditionalists and ceremonial believe that by taking pictures, you are taking a part of the soul, and to take something like that would be disrespectful to everything. And that's just that that's a belief that's been around for ages. And I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with it at all. But you know, a lot of times, like grand entry used to be not allowed to be videotaped. Now they're allowing it. But you have to stop videotaping when they start doing the flag song and the veteran song. Yeah, you, you, you got to be there, you got to experience it for yourself. It's, it's one of them things you just got to do. Mm -hmm. It is more than okay to dance and enjoy the music if you're not Native American. There are certain songs that you will, will be asked not to do, but it's out there for everyone to enjoy. You don't have to be Native American to, or Indigenous to, to do the dances. I welcome it all the time. I'm like, yeah, come on out, come on, let's have fun. Like while they travel around, do social dances for schools and stuff like that. And for the kids to bec take part in that, they, they enjoy it. I, I love when it's more than just our culture getting involved. I love when other people are able to enjoy it as well. The more the merrier is always what I say. And as long as you're being respectful about it, then yeah, have fun. So for, for indigenous kids to get back into it, into the culture, into the drumming, everything like that, uh, on the reservations, they have uh, youth departments that uh, their main goals are to bring the culture back to kids. There's also um, uh, cultural departments that you can call and talk to. Uh, it, the, the culture is not just basically drumming and dancing. There's uh, sweat lodge ceremonies. There's fasting ceremony. You know, there, there's there's more to it than just drumming and dancing. And if you want to become part of one, you should learn all of it. And under because they all intertie to each other. I had to fast for four days to drum, and I had to fast for four days to dance. I've had to fast and and fasting for four days. You know, one for each direction. And, no food and water for them four days. So from sun up, from the time I started till the time I got done, I ate no food, no water. Hey, I, you couldn't even sneak it. You can't sneak it because then you're not, you're not cheating anybody, you're cheating yourself because you're out there for a reason. Well, to let everybody know, indigenous and non-indigenous, like drumming's a way of life, it's, it's not, a hobby for us. It's something that we've chosen to do in our life. It's a, it's a T 
teaching. We, we teach others and others teach us. Uh, we're very honored to be able to do what we do. We take what we do serious, but we're not so serious that we won't welcome people or like if mistakes happen, we won't scold people for that's we're very humble people when we're, we're not we're not like that but where we're humble some people need to humble themselves like if they want to come over and listen that's fine yeah but ask if you can record or ask if you can um, mind them standing there or ask if maybe sit down and try it out you know you, you, you want to ask these things before that it's something we take very serious in a sense because it's who we are we're the ones they wouldn't have powwows and everything if it wasn't for drums if we weren't there and what the drum essentially is it's it's the first sound you hear when you're in your mother's womb first sound you hear is her heartbeat you know tum, 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 tum. so that's what our drum is it's it's the heartbeat that you hear so it's the heartbeat of the people it's what brings the people together without the heartbeat if your heart stops, then you don't exist anymore. So be respectful for that, but have fun with it as well, just in a respectful manner. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to, to come up, but be respectful. <laughs>